Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing some book recommendations and I really recommend all of these books. The number one series I recommend is Rick Riordan's um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is the first book. It's called The Lightning Thief. I'll read the back of The Lightning Thief. Um, Percy Jackson is about to be kicked out of boarding school again and that's the least of his troubles. Lately, mythological creatures in the Gods of Mount Olympus seem to be walking straight out of the pages of Percy's Greek mythology textbook and into his life. And worse, he's angered a few of them. Zeus's master lightning bolt has been stolen, and Percy is the prime suspect. Now, Percy and his friends have just ten days to find and return Zeus's stolen property and bring peace to roaring Mount Olympus. But to succeed in his quest, Percy will have to do more than catch the true thief. He must come to terms with his father, who abandoned him, solve the riddle of the oracle, which warns him of betrayal by a friend, an unrival of treachery more powerful than the gods themselves. That doesn't, like, that sounds interesting, you know, gives me goosebumps. The second book, which I do not have a copy of, I'm loaning it to someone right now, is called The Sea of Monsters. The third one is this one, Titan's Curse. The fourth is called The Battle of the Labyrinth. And then the fifth one, which is my favorite, is um, The Last Olympian. There's five books. I only have four with me right now because, of course, like I said before, I'm loaning it to someone. And then there's a second series that piggybacks off of that. Um, it's called Heroes of Olympus, and the first book is called The Lost Hero. I'll read the back of this, too. Jason has a problem. He doesn't remember anything before waking up in a bus full of kids on a field trip. Apparently, he has a girlfriend named Piper, and his best friend is a guy named Leo. They're all students at the Wilderness School, a boarding school for bad kids, as Leo puts it. What, J what did Jason do to end up here, and where is here exactly? Jason doesn't know anything, except that everything seems wrong. Piper has a secret. Her father, a famous actor, had been missing for three days ever since she had that terrifying nightmare about his being in trouble. Piper doesn't understand her dream or why her boyfriend suddenly doesn't recognize her. When a freak storm hits during the school trip, unleashing strange creatures and whisking her, Jason, and Leo away to some place called Camp Halfled, she has a feeling she's going to find out whether she wants to or not. Leo has a way with tools. I love Leo. When he sees his cabin at Camp Halfled filled with power tools and machine parts, he feels right at home. But there's weird stuff too like the curse everyone keeps talking about, and some camper who's gone missing. Weirdest of all, his bunkmates insist that each of them, including Leo, is related to a god. Does this have anything to do with Jason's amnesia or the fact that Leo keeps seeing ghosts? Join new and old friends from Camp Half-Blood in this thrilling first book of the Heroes of Olympus series. The second book of that series is right here. It is called The Son of Neptune. And if you've read this series before, you're just getting to this book, you can probably guess who the person is in the picture. The third book, which is my favorite, well, it's actually tied with the fourth book. I can't decide which book is better, but the cliffhanger in this book is really crappy. I'm going to just warn you right now. It's called The Mark of Athena. And then the fourth book is called... The House of Hades. And then the fifth book is called The Blood of Olympus. They're all by the same author, Rick Riordan, don't worry. Okay, that's the second series. Next series I really recommend is, of course, the Harry Potter series. If you're a muggle and you don't know what this is, then I really recommend you read The Sorcerer's Stone. Or the Philosopher's Stone, it's the same thing. Um, I will read the back of this one. Harry Potter has never played a sport while flying on a broomstick. He's never worn a cloak of invisibility, befriended a giant, or helped hatch a dragon. All Harry knows is a miserable life with the Dursleys, his horrible aunt and uncle, and their abominable son, Dudley. Harry's room is a tiny closet at the foot of the stairs, and he hasn't had a birthday party in 11 years. But all that is about to change when a mysterious letter arrives by Owl Messenger. A letter with an invitation to a wonderful place he had never dreamed existed. There he finds not only friends, aerial sports, and magic around every corner, but a great destiny that's been waiting for him, if Harry can survive the encounter. So, that sounds like really good.
Oh, I don't have the second book. I'm loaning it to someone, but it's called Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The third one is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Fourth is the thickest, is like getting into the thick ones. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Fifth. <laughs> I'm really hearing it didn't make me cry at one point. So hard. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I swear the death in this book. Like, I mean, really? Thanks a lot, J.K. Rowling. Okay, sixth book is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And then the last book is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So that's the third series I recommend. Now enough with the series, I'm going to be just going on, well, that's enough for the series for now. I'm going to be going on to another book. This is a romance for young adult. It's called, um, I don't have the hardcover of it, but it's called um, The Unexpected Everything. It's really good. It's about this girl, Andy, and she um, was going to this, like, um, sort of college camp thing that will get her GPA high or something and then it, they cancel on her for some reason. Her father's the mayor or a part of Congress and so it was something that had happened in his campaign that made the um, college application camp thingy go like nah -uh. I'm sorry. So she has to find a different summer job or a summer job to keep her busy and so she signs up to be a dog walker without realizing it and her partner is this boy named Clark and they like immediately fall in love and it's just like a beautiful story I love it it's amazing okay um I have this one. Oh, here we go um I recommend this series it's also by Rick Riordan it's called The Trials of Apollo the first book is called The Hidden Oracle and the second I'm currently reading is called um, The Dark Prophecy. And the third one, it'll say in the back what it's called. Um, the Burning Maze. It says it's coming in spring 2018. I can't wait that long. Like, why? Why? It's a pain. Pain, I swear. Next, where is it? I have like thing books scattered everywhere and it's like, chaotic oh my next book is in my bookshelf I take it out um first book of mine is chase by rick riordan the um sword of summer um i'll read the back um magnus chase has seen his share of trouble ever since that terrible night two years ago when his mother had told him to run he was he has lived alone on the streets of boston surviving by his wits staying one step ahead of the police and tron officers one day, Magnus learns that someone else is trying to track him down. His uncle Randolph, a man his mother had always warned him about. When Magnus tries to outmaneuver his uncle, he falls right into his clutches. Randolph starts rambling about Norse mythology and Magnus's birthright, a weapon that has been lost for thousands of years. Stories about the gods of Asgard, wolves, and doomsday bubble up from Magnus's memory. But he doesn't have time to consider it all before a fire giant attacks the city, forcing him to choose between his own safety and the lives of hundreds of innocents. Sometimes the only way to start a new life is to die. So yeah. I just realized that I haven't read the back of the Trials of Apollo. Um, Apollo, the once glorious god of the sun, music, poetry, and more, has been cast down to earth in punishment by Zeus. Now he has an awkward mortal now he is an awkward mortal teenager named Lester Papadopoulos. Spelled really weird. I can't pronounce it. In order to regain his peace on Mount Olympus, Lester must restore five oracles that have gone dark. But how is he supposed to accomplish this task without having any godly powers? It's time to recruit some help. A certain demigod named Percy Jackson shows him where he needs to go. A training camp on Long Island called Camp Half-Blood. So that's the back of the hidden oracle. I forgot to read the back, sorry. I hope everyone enjoyed that video. Let me know what other types of videos you would like to see me do. And I hope everybody has a good rest of their week. Till next Friday.